I'm Norina Hertz. I'm a professor and economist and the author of Eyes Wide Open, How to Make Smart Decisions in a Confusing World. I've been looking a lot at the whole question of information overload and how we make smart decisions in a data deluged world. So I'm seeing a lot of new trends emerging in that space. Um, I think what we're seeing is the beginnings of a real backlash against technology um, where people are actually saying enough, we can't cope with this drip, drip, drip of information anymore. Um, we can't cope with the emails and tweets and things like that. So um, we're seeing people actually calling digital Sabbaths, taking a day off a week and saying, I'm not going to check emails. Companies who are saying, we're going to have one day a week when nobody's allowed to CC anyone else in on a thing. So I think we're going to see some ways of kind of a backlash and new strategies for dealing with information. My work's very interdisciplinary, so I'm kind of trying to mix together the um, economic literature. I'm a professor of economics, um, but also literature in neuroscience, in psychology, in um, information science, and try and piece together how the world is shaping um, by using all these disciplines and also by very much um, looking at the ground, what is actually going on, how are people's behaviors changing. I think in this kind of day and age, when the world is as complex and as fast moving as it is today, we have to take as holistic an approach as possible and not only listen to the traditional experts to tell us where the world's heading because they tend to call it very wrong. I try and carve out thinking time, time to actually think, quiet time. So um, actually President Obama advised my Prime Minister David Cameron that the most important thing you can do in a day is carve out thinking time. And I think anyone who who's wants to try and work out where the world's going and be creative and innovative needs that space to actually think. Well, it means a lot because there aren't, firstly, very many women at all in this space. Less than 10% of economics professors are women. So it's really important that there are women thinking about the world, thinking about global trends, thinking about the world is going, and not only thinking about it, but getting their insights out there into the public domain. I'm really honored to have been privileged to be involved in, in a number of big campaigns and issues that have really helped transform people's lives. My ideas were the basis of the RED campaign, where um, set up by Bono and Bobby Schreiber here, where products are um, sold and the money goes to the Global Fund for AIDS. Um, I've also been very involved in cancelling third world debt earlier in my career, and also on the Middle East peace process where I had less success, I'd say. Um, so, you know, I feel that for me, it's important not only to be thinking about the world, but also to be actively playing a part in shaping it. Thank <laughs> you.